If you are even 1% interested in seeing how I turn a simple image into a cinematic one as you can see right here, make sure to watch the entire video and I hope you'll enjoy it. In today's video, I decided to again transform a simple tree using our beloved tool, Photoshop. Last year I participated in Phase Runners contest in which I also had to edit a tree and I wanted to do this again and see the differences. I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I did, if you're not subscribed please do so, it will help a lot, if you like the video like it and I will see you in Photoshop. First thing first I had to decide what background to use and I found this forest image to which I adjusted the brightness in order to make it a nice scene. One thing is missing, that being the blue tone, so with a color balance adjustment layer I quickly changed it and it was perfect. I got this sky image which I put in place and faded out the edges. Then the same image on the left side, also mask it with a brush. This final sky piece is the most dramatic one so far and I also had to blend it in the scene. I'm not gonna lie, for now it looks actually decent. The next step is to add the cliff. First I got rid of the yellow lines and then simply use the quick selection tool to extract it and place it in the bottom right corner. I also mask this mountain thing, if you can call it like this, use the refine edge for a better selection. I place it and I've seen that I had a white outline and to erase it I went to filter, other and minimum and set the radius to 2 pixels. I had to work on the brightness and contrast adjustment layer along with the color balance one in order to blend it with the entire composition. And I used the brush to mask the bottom so it looks like it is indeed above the clouds. For the rock it's the same thing, I just made it darker. Also I have another cliff that I want to place in the background, also select it and use the refine brush for the edges then paint it on the mask to hide the bottom. The main subject as you know is the tree, so it was time to add it. After the selection I put it in place, tweaked a bit of colors and painted some areas with a dark blue. Then I quickly moved to painting some shadows on the rock and I also made it a dark blue. The sky looked a bit off to me, so I decided to add one more light source, mask the edges, mesh the colors and move to adding light to it. I did it with a few solid color adjustment layers set on linear dodge add and soft light. For the tree I also used a solid color on linear dodge add and used the blend if option to hide some parts. Finally this is my favorite part where I have to add different overlays to create the desired effect and I switch between blending modes until I find something that looks nice. And of course erase the parts that I don't want to have. From now it will be a speed art since there is not much to explain. I kept adding different overlays and work on them using the same steps. Also, please make sure to watch until the end because I have some important news for you.
Recently, I changed my content and I would love to know your thoughts. I want to know if you like these type of videos. I also made a post on the community tab if you want to vote. As you can see, the beginning of my video has a lot of cuts, zoom in, zoom outs, motion and stuff like that, while the second part has a speed art segment. I would like to know from you if I should stick to one type of content or maybe both. Please comment down below your thoughts and that being said, I hope you like this video and I will see you in my next one.